All right, mate, how you doing? It's the morning after the night before. Last night was uh, Portugal, Wales. Wales crashing out the Euros. Portugal going through to the final. Today, we're still in Lyon. As I mentioned in last night's vlog, we are going to back to the stadium we were at yesterday to play on the pitch. Not just me, not just Seb, but um, people like the F2 Freestylers are going to be there. There's going to be legends like David James, Peter Schmeichel, Claude McAuley. People like that. Um, so we're going to get to do some stuff on the pitch. Then we're going to an event later on tonight where we get to watch the Germany-France game on TV and have a nice dinner and things like that. And then we'll be back home to England tomorrow. So first things first, got to get my kit that has been delivered to my hotel room. Carlsberg selection. We've got a uh, Carlsberg shirt. Uh, a little message about what we're doing today. Some sort of uh, tracksuit bottoms. Tracksuit top banter. Is that some shorts? Lovely shorts and some socks. All right, so I have to get that on and then we'll have some fun at the pitch. It's a lovely stadium too, so I'm looking forward to this. Here we are then. Take a look at this lovely day, isn't it? It's a lovely day for it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's the bench, Portugal branded. There's the Welsh bench. Oh wow. Got all sorts going on here, Sebby boy. Decent little pitch, isn't it? Tennis. It's grass. Feels pure. It's definitely real. Wow. You do a picture of you, not a photo today. <laughs> yeah. Decent. Very decent. Right, I've got changed. I'm in my gear. I'm ready for action. Seb just played me the ball, actually. Hang on. Let's test it out. There's the ball. There's Sebby. There's a load of different stations here we're going to play. We've got football tennis over here. We've got freestyle. Don't, I'm not sure what that bit is. They've got free kicks with a Carlsberg wall, which I quite like. They've got, I think that's real life table football where you play as the people, baby foot they call it in France. Some sort of stage there. Something else going on there, like a little ring. It's a decent little arena the south, isn't it? Ring Grove. Decent. Hello. Oh. Got no chance in here. It's a big old goal. Who's taking this one? I think it's Jezza. Can't even see the ball through that wall. Here we go. Oh! That was decent. Just playing a bit of uh, football tennis now. We've said this is hard work in this son, I'll tell you. Spencer with his Rabona serve. He's Wimbledon after all. Hello. We're in. We're in play. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Oh no. Can I hit it? Uh, uh oh. Let's uh. get in. Oh. Uh. Tell you why, as you can probably tell from the sweat on my face, we've been having some fun out there. I haven't filmed most of it because we want to play football, not film it. Come on, Ben. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yes. I'm lucky. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to try to make legs. Oh, a little. Oh, oh no! I like that, I like that. Spen, try a Rabona. Yeah! He's done it. But we don't take skimmers, boys. <laughs> Fair play. That's outrageous for you, mate. Two skimmers count as one. Right, you're on YouTube now, Marcel. <laughs> this is Marcel Desailly here um, with a very sweaty Spencer. I've been playing on the pitch all day uh, today, so excuse me for that. Um, you're a legendary centre back, right? You played in big tournaments, you won big tournaments for France. I, I try my best to play centre back sometimes as well. Yeah. What I want to ask you is, what's the best advice you've got some, for someone like me to get the best out of a centre back performance? Particularly recently, we've been playing in some big games where we're playing against ex professionals as well. I've had to mark, you know, really good players, ex England players. What's the best thing I could do to just mark them and cope with them in a the game? 
<laughs> you need to have talent. <laughs> uh, if you haven't got talent, what's the next thing? Yeah, you cannot buy it. Uh, then you have to work very hard. Uh, yeah, okay. It's obvious also yeah. to be able to understand and read the game on how you're going to anticipate in front of uh, your your opponent, or either drop back because there's a long ball. I mean, there's many uh, there's many signal. If the opponent have the ball, uh, midfielder, yeah. without anyone pressing him, so you drop back. Yeah. If you feel that it's going to be a pass, then you have to stay behind, hiding a little bit, and anticipate the pass to get the ball in front of him. Yeah. So, petit petit details, I don't know how to explain to you. What would you do when you have like a, I know you're a big guy yourself, but if you've got a real big striker, a big strong guy, and he's leaning into you and he's pushing you about, what's the best way to, to deal with that situation? Don't be uh, annoyed because you don't get the ball when he's going to flick. Right. It's just a matter of the people who are around you have to be focused on, on the flick that is going to come to, 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 to catch the runner. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is one point. And on corners, if he's much more taller than you, you have to get, if the corner is up there, you have to put yourself into a position where you're controlling him. You have the player and at the same time the ball. Yeah. And my last question for you, uh -huh. on my YouTube channel I do a series where on the game FIFA, uh -huh. which you're in, you have a Ooh, legend yes. in the game, um, every time I meet a footballer it means I can use them in my team. So now because I've met you, I can use you in my team. Use what, me. What's the best way to use Marcel Desailly as a, if I'm playing FIFA? What should I do with you? Should I try and run from centre back? Should I kick the ball straight away, pass it? What, what, how would you use your best self best? Most of the time is blocking the opponent. Yeah, of this course. Is one of the the major and you can use me also to you know to play the, into the interval when there's a little bit in space in front of me you can you can use me I can go with speed with the ball I can run very good with the ball okay. and pass it into my my mate my playmaker for him to to perform and score that's good to know I think you're gonna make the starting 11 <laughs> Marcel thank you very much for that appreciate it all the best okay I'm here with uh, Mr. David James last time I saw you we were just chatting about it, it was the uh, <laughs> yeah, England Germany charity match Upton Park we got smashed didn't we Mate, but against Smash would suggest there was two teams, one of them beat the other. It was more like Germany playing against nothing. Well, yeah. yeah. Let's be until, until, <laughs> until Big Ben Cohen came in and rescued us with, with, a, with a modicum of. Uh, uh, respectability. Yeah, the, his, the, the Germans. Break. The Germans took it way too seriously. In the day. I think we can agree, as they tend to do. But um, yeah. let's talk about England instead of Germany. Yeah. Um, Euros obviously didn't go well for us. Joe Hart, particularly, one of our best players. I feel normally one of our strongest players in the squad. But it didn't have a great tournament. A couple of games against Wales and obviously the, the mishap in the uh, game against Iceland. What, what, do you, what do you think was the cause of that? I think, I think with Joe, I mean, I, you're looking at a player who is intensely focused. It's difficult to say, but maybe you need to relax a little bit. Right, right, right. Um, Too much pressure, maybe? Or? No, but he's an intense guy when it comes to playing, which I understand and I appreciate. I've been there myself, and you, you sometimes need to relax rather right. than think, I need to be more focused. Yeah. Right. Guys, I'm here with Claude McAuley. Um We've just been talking about the fact that we support West Ham. You said you never lost against West Ham. No, I remember I never lost against West Ham. When I'm playing Chelsea, yeah? Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Did you? No, no, no. Real Madrid and West Ham didn't get to play much. Uh, so. no. <laughs> I know, since so. You know, I think he, he makes one the manager, one of the best manager. Yeah, Bilic. In New York. Yeah. Popular, Very isn't clever. It? Yeah, I'm happy for Bayer also. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you about. We're talking about West Ham. Everyone on the channel knows I'm a big Dimitri Payet fan. He's really done well for France in this tournament and he wasn't even in the squad that long ago. How do you feel about Dimitri Payet? How good do you think he is? I think when I play in France, he has quality. The way he moves in England, you see, it's hard. It's fighting all the time, every game. <laughs> <laughs> you know now the way he changed the way he play about uh, space, about shoot. It's like a, I think he, now you know the way he need to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before it's like he move uh, left, right, uh, midfielder. Now you know. One other thing I wanted to ask you is, I play for a football team. We have a lot of our games on YouTube. We're called Hashtag United. And when I play, sometimes I play at the back, sometimes I play in the central defensive midfield role, which is a role that you were so good at, they basically named it after you. You might have heard of the Claude McAuley role. It's named after this guy. What can I do in that position, in the Claude McAuley role? What's some advice you can give me to do it better? I can't tell you because you're not me. You understand? Damn it! So, <laughs> so what I want to tell you is this. You need to enjoy this position, you need to enjoy the way you do. 
in a bad way. You, you, you know, enjoy for score. You know, enjoy just get enjoy the tackling, enjoy the little exactly passes. Exactly, the, yeah. enjoy everything you do in the midfield. For the midfielder, you use your player. You need be help all people you have. You need to help you. everyone else. That was, exactly. That's why. That's why you were such a pivotal part of the Chelsea team and the Real Madrid team. Because you facilitated for other people, you did the dirty work basically. I, mean, I don't care. They're allowed. I love it. Yeah. This is a problem. I don't care. You love oh, the why, dirty why, work. That's why, the secret. You, you need to love it. Gino loves this position. You can't do very well. You can't make the performance in a good level. You need love. You need to go where, keep the ball, give him. You're happy. When as your you, you partner scores, you give the, uh, the assistant. You're happy. See, everything like that. I think this player can't say he has this. Can't say, yeah, yeah. You see, he smiles all the time, yeah, he's happy, true. running everywhere. He doesn't it's need to amazing. score goals, he just wants to it's do the job. Amazing. Yeah. When you have this, you do good job in the mid okay. That's good advice, you know. I'm going to start loving the dirty work, and maybe one day I'll be like Claude McAuley. That's, <laughs> that's the dream. Claude, sure, thank you very it's much for pleasure. that. I appreciate it's it. Pleasure. All three of them played for France. Obviously, France won the 98 World Cup and the 2000 European Championship. It's, like a, it's like um, a school reunion. Macalady. Oh, nice. That was a lovely turn. Sure, okay. oh. It's Ben Diggy Dog versus David James. Peno. Oh. Oh. Filthy. Yeah. Oh, I do not want to get in the way of that. Alright guys, I'm sitting on the bench now. We've had a lot of fun on the pitch. We've been here for about four or five hours. Had a lot of sun. Very sunny day. Lots of football, of course. Now we're going to go and watch the game and uh, have a nice bit of dinner. Let's do it. Right, before we head off to dinner and to watch the uh, second semi-final of Euro 2016, there's a little bit of business to attend to. Some serious business you want to attend to. Play 2v2? Oh, hello. Oh, An offer's come in. Lake doors. Why not? Let's do it. All right. Um, yeah. Brothers on the same team. I think that's fair. Do you want to go up front, mate, and I'll go at the back? I think... Do you want to go up front? Uh, okay, mm. I'll go up front, mate. You're the defender. I'm Let's play. Let's play. Right, we just got absolutely smashed by a couple of guys from... I don't know what country they're from. Oh, from Iceland. <laughs> Probably are. It's actually, they're from Iceland, that'd be ridiculous. English against Iceland, yeah, they smashed us. So now we're going to play like a poor man's game yeah, between I us two because they've gone like, now. I sort of feel like I'm playing like a different game now. Yeah, they're good, mate. They were good. Too good. It was another win for me, but I can't take any pride in that victory now. I've seen the light and I've seen what is capable. Well, I was 5 2 up when we left. He said it doesn't count as a win. He said it doesn't count as a win. I was 5 2 up and we had to leave. Oh, either way, I'm still up in the series anyway, mate, so... But those guys taught us a lesson. There's our boat. Just got to go down these steps to get there. Crikey. Oh. Steep. Look at this bit of the end. Just got to jump this bit. Oh. Oh, yeah. On the boat. And the football is on. Get in. Here we go. Kick off. Nice and here. Wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. Bang. That's what I'm looking for. That's one view. And this is our view. And also, we've been treated to uh, a first half in the the other semi final, which has been uh, much more entertaining than most of the games that I've seen in the US so far. Right, half time in the game. Food's just arriving now. I've heard some words from our expert, Schmeichel, David James, etc. So, we eat some food. Obviously, it's 1 0 to France at half time. Penalty for uh, Griezmann. See what happens in the second half. Let's eat. Wow. That is. Only one is good. Scallop. Scallop. Tartar. Not looking good to the Germans. 1 0 down, and now Boateng's got injured. Could be France's night. It's all over. France have beaten Germany 2-0 and they're going to be in the final versus Portugal. And I think they'll probably win that final, uh, don't you Sebi? Um, I would say everything that I know about football says yes, but I still think Ronaldo's got something else to say in this tournament. France could cry yes. Have we seen the future European champions today? The, oh yes! The, the way we played was not really great, but we've shown great character. We showed that we are also able to defend in front of a strong team. 
and be clinical on the finishing. Well, that was a fun event with some uh, top quality ex football talent. Yes, I enjoyed it. Right, guys, we're back at the hotel now after an eventful evening, and you know, it's just dawned on me. It's actually the end of our Euros adventure, really, because obviously yesterday was our last game. We were going to the Euros, we're not going to the final, and we just lot we just watched the um, the other semi final, of course. Uh, these trips have been with Carlsberg and they've been brilliant, but now we're going home and it's all done. Seb's been with me for the trips as well. Have you enjoyed them, Seb? It's been incredible fun, incredible fun. One of the things I remember from tonight, when we were sitting in that Carlsberg dinner place, the whole sound of the whole town of Lyon was cars bibbing, celebrating, enjoying themselves. And France won, yeah. Just imagine if that was in England. I mean, it's a shame. Fair play to them. I feel like a little bit annoyed that teams like Wales and Iceland have had experiences like that without having to get into the final or anything. Um, so it'd be good to be here tonight. Fair play to France. Fair play. Yeah, well done France. And um, we'll end on a positive. Forgetting about England, the purely as a fan spectator of football, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed watching the fans of other countries. I've enjoyed supporting different countries along the way. I've enjoyed going to the new stadiums in France. Obviously hanging out with my brother Seb. A shout out to Seb as well. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel. If Seb you haven't, on Golf. Exactly, Seb on Golf. If you haven't already, get involved. There's a link in the description. New uh, video coming whenever Friday is, tomorrow. New video. Friday. Watch it. Um, yeah, I'm going to sign off there. Thanks for watching these vlogs. Back to England tomorrow to continue the normal YouTube grind for you lot. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you when you're older. Until then, don't go changing. Unless you're England, and then go changing quickly. Yes, please. Bye-bye.